Hi everyone, welcome to another STEM Power at Home video. Today we're going to be learning how to make a baking soda volcano. So before we get started, we need to learn a few key terms. The first one is an acid-base reaction. And this is when an acid and a base combine to make a type of salt and a type of acid. In this case, our acid will be vinegar and our base will be baking soda. And these will combine to create carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is extremely unstable, so it's going to decompose to create carbon dioxide. Now, you may have heard of carbon dioxide before. It's what makes sodas fizzy. So when you shake up the soda, the carbon dioxide gets excited and it tries to spread out. But it has nowhere to go until you open the soda and it shoots out the top. This exact same thing is happening with a volcano, where the carbon dioxide is building up inside the vinegar and it's causing the volcano to erupt. Alright, so now that we know these terms, we can get into the experiment. Alright, so for this, we're going to need 10 milliliters of dish soap. 100 milliliters of warm water, 400 milliliters of white vinegar, an empty 2 liter soda bottle, half a cup of baking soda, half a cup of warm water, and make sure you keep this separate from the other water, and a glass. So for the first step, we're going to combine the vinegar, warm water, and this is the 100 milliliters, so it's a little bit less, and the dish soap into our soda bottle. And now, if you want to make your explosion nice and colorful, you can add some food coloring, but you don't have to. And then now we're going to make a baking soda slurry. So we're going to take our glass, we're going to fill it with our baking soda and water. And this is the half cup of water, so it's a little bit more. And then we're going to mix it together. Now, go outside with your slurry and soda bottle, because you're not going to want to do this inside. It's going to be pretty messy. Um, and now it's just time for the eruption. Just set the soda bottle on the ground and pour the baking soda slurry in quickly. Alright, we've successfully completed our experiment. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below how your experiment went. And until next month, keep learning. 